guys oh, welcome back to my channel this is elise from discovering elise and welcome or welcome back to discovering elise i am back in the states obviously as you know um back to the regular scheduled programming um <laughs> yeah so grand rising and my son sent me a thing today in regards to that i'm gonna insert it so you guys can see um because i'm used to saying good morning i grew up saying good morning good morning good morning good morning but I'm trying to transition over to saying grand rising, great rising, good rising, something like that because of the meaning behind good morning. So I'm going to insert a little clip of what he sent me so you guys can see. Hold on. I'm just trying to turn out into traffic. Hold on a second. These cars are relentless over here they drive so stinking crazy okay okay <clears throat> so i'm going to insert a clip so you guys can see the meaning the deep rooted meaning behind good morning and the reason why i'm trying to retrain my thinking retrain my brain retrain my communication my words into saying you know more higher vibrational things so um yeah so watch this clip and then i'll be back rising mm, so i'm back guys so what you think about that that's crazy right and it's so hard to unlearn what you've what you've grown accustomed to you know for years of your whole life 44 years i've been saying good morning we've said good morning my family said good morning that's what we were trained i taught i learned whatever to say and it's sad it's sad to know the history behind things like that it's heartbreaking what they did to our people so sad but like i said i'm back here in the states and guys let me tell you I know y'all I talked about me having the headaches and not having headaches at all me or Tweety having headaches at all while we were in South Africa as soon as we got flying over let's see I got mine in London my first headache I got when we flew back and we touched down in London I got a headache first headache in almost a month and then Tweety got hers after flying 
over Canada when we got like to Massachusetts, when we got to the United States. That's when Tweety got her her first headache. And one of my lovely, lovely, sweet subscribers, I thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I'll get to that in just a second. But one of my lovely subscribers um, said that it's probably from the fountain drinks. But I still hadn't had a fountain drink. I hadn't had a fountain drink since I, till I got here, till I got back um, to the states. So it wasn't a fountain. Well, I take that back. I got a fountain drink at Burger at Bur King in in South Africa, and a small one at McDonald's in South Africa. But like I was saying, I I like the fountain drinks because they like extra fizzy, blah blah, blah and with the ice and blah blah blah. So. I hadn't had a fountain drink. They were saying that it was because of the fountain drinks. It's not because of that. I don't know. It's the toxicity, the energy, the toxicity, uh, the everything that goes down in this country here is, I don't know, just affects me so badly. I don't know. And then, okay, so got my first headache, blah, blah, blah. Took my little BC powder. Okay, it was fine. Then got here maybe two, three, three days after being back home. Terrible, terrible migraine. Oh my God. Terrible migraines. Stomach aches. I don't know. Like my body was like, like rejecting. I don't know what my body was doing. I don't know. Trying to like build up defense mechanism for being back here in this toxic place I don't know but that shut me down for a couple days I'm not gonna lie shut me down for a couple days and now I'm just back out and back and at it it's a lovely beautiful day today I'm trying to get back into the swing of things of the hustle hustle mentality here um when I got back, I was supposed to have a couple face-to-face uh, -face interviews lined up, made those phone calls as promised, and um, waiting for those people to get back in touch with me. So, still um, with the job hunt situation, that's still about the same. Um, I have another interview. This is something that I really want, um, another remote position. So prayers that that comes through for me um and i'll let you guys know update you guys on that situation what else oh my subscribers oh my god y'all i cannot believe i'm like at 400 subscribers this is like mind-blowing to me this is mind-blowing to me oh my gosh is uh like you know i always wanted to like i always like looked at those um youtubers and like oh wish that it was me and like oh man i wish that i could like have an income from doing stuff that i like to do what a, what a dream job that would be you know just to go places that I like to go and people would like to watch me and is it I don't know I feel like that's coming into fruition it's it's crazy and I'm so appreciative of everybody that subscribed and mostly appreciative of my South African friends that I've acquired oh my gosh y'all thank you so much thank you so much for subscribing to my channel oh hold on okay I'm back had a phone call okay but yeah like I was saying thank you so much for subscribing to my channel thank you so much for believing in me liking me enough thinking I'm enough to you know to watch and yeah thank you for liking the music I appreciate you guys so much I try so hard to find um, some South African you know music and a lot of the times I can't put it on YouTube because of the copyright restrictions and things. So I appreciate, you know, the feedback and the love and everything, the warm, nice, sweet, wonderful comments that everybody gives me. I'm so appreciative of you guys more than you ever know. So now that I have like a little subscriber count, 
I need to think of a name for you guys. Like all the YouTubers have a name for their subscribers. I call you my friends. I feel like you guys are my friends. But if you guys think it's a different name that I should have for my subscribers, let me know down in the comments below. Um, but I've been calling you guys my friends. So I'll be like, hey friends, you know, this is my talking to my friends. So, cause I feel like you guys are my friends. So yeah. Um, but let me know if you think it should be something different. You know, I'm all open to suggestions. I tried to, I try my best to, um, comment or respond or heart, you know, everybody's comments, um, on, um, my my vlogs and i just i enjoy interacting with you guys and it's fun it's so much fun and i thank you for all the suggestions because i'm going to like i'm making another list because i'm definitely coming back to south africa so i'm making another list of all the stuff that i missed and didn't get to go to and you guys have been you guys have been giving me great suggestions so i appreciate that but yeah so as far as right now goes, I am just back to the hustle, bustle, hustle, and bustle of being back in the United States and trying to make it, child. Trying to make it. So, what I'm doing now is about to go try to make a little bit of money doing the DoorDash thing. And um, I do need to go and pick up, like... Uh, a couple things from from the store um, that we ran out of while I was gone and yeah so it's a beautiful day today guys it's such a beautiful sunny day and I'm just trying to, to be grateful lead it with gratitude and positivity because that's all I can do that's all I can do and um, yeah, so I, if, if anything, you know, like if anything crazy or important or whatever happens, that I'll, I'll pick you guys back up, but I just wanted to hop on really quick to talk to you guys and show my gratitude for all my new subscribers, um, and let you know that I appreciate you so, so much. And I will pick you guys back up in a minute. Bye. <laughs> hmm? Okay, guys, that was just a phone call from one of the um, one of the job prospects. So I go and meet with them tomorrow. So I will keep you updated <sighs> on this process. For sure. All right. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Elise from Discovering Elise, and I am today. I am driving to this interview, guys. <laughs> so yeah, today is one of the interviews. The in face. I haven't done an in face in person interview in so long. Like so long. Feels like forever. Um, but yeah, so some may say I should not have on this bright green shirt, but this bright green blouse might make me memorable. So, oh yeah, the girl with the hair and the <laughs> and the bright green blouse. Yeah, so that's my tactic, and um, we'll see how this goes. I'm feeling pretty confident or positive about it it's just that um it'll just be determining if you know it's a good fit we'll see we'll see i will pick you guys back up and let you know how it goes um once i'm done Oh, you try, no lie, black people, we divide, yeah. Curly hair, 
that shrink and sell it down the way, sure. Yeah. Have it is. Got the booty booty on Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do your thing. Next like front and star a rock them braids, yeah. Yeah. In a way, nobody could take melanin no way, yeah. Okay, guys. As I'm riding along here, I'm sitting up here thinking of all the interview rules that I'm breaking um, right now. So... For one, with the color that I'm wearing, I think I'm supposed to be wearing like a black or blue, navy blue or something like that. My nails are colored. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, um, oh, I should be arriving like 15 minutes early, but traffic caught me, I underestimated, so like I'm arriving five minutes um, early. Um, <clears throat> what else? <clears throat> I forgot my, I forgot my copy of my resume. You know, they say bring that. Um, I forgot my little, my little, not a binder, but it's like a little leather portfolio kind of thing that I used, that I used to take to interviews, um, with a copy of my resume in there. Child, I'm doing it all wrong. I'm fresh I feel like I'm fresh out the box or something but it is what it is and if it's for me it's for me I'm a firm believer in that and um <clears throat> and I have two other interviews this week so um yeah if if <laughs> if that's the deal breaker then maybe it wasn't meant for me so I'm hoping to win them over with my lovely, charming personality, and yeah, because um, this position is not a full-time position, it's a part-time position, um, kind of a flexible position, so I figure it would be good in addition to um, another position, so we'll see I'm almost there so I just was thinking of that while I was driving like all these rules that I'm breaking I guess that's me <laughs> all right guys I'll pick you back up in a minute bye okay guys let me roll this window up so interview is over it went extremely well one of the most laid-back interviews I've had and I mean, I've had, I haven't interviewed in a minute, so I was gonna say in a long time, but you get the trip, you get the drift. It was very laid back. Um, everybody was down to earth, and yeah. So I pretty much got the job. I'm told them that you know, let me think about it for a minute. Um, I'm gonna think about it and you know but I have you know all the paperwork that I need to fill out to turn back in and um and yeah so I pretty much will go ahead and take it um it's not nothing that is like a full-time position so I still will definitely need a um another you know another position to supplement like well this is this would be like a little supplement like it's kind of more like a side side kind of part-time job but um doesn't seem very hard at all so so yeah um one down two to go uh i will uh keep you guys posted on the status of these interviews this week I have another one tomorrow. The one tomorrow is one that I I want. It's a remote position. So if I get that one and I can still do this one on the side, that would be great. Because this will be great extra income. But yeah, guys, it went well. So all of the good vibes that you sent me through, through the through the internet has been amazing and um and I didn't even have all the stuff that I thought I needed well that they say that you need for interviews um you know 
but uh, anyway guys I'm gonna go and get me some lunch get out of these clothes and yeah so thank you guys for like joining me on my little interview I know this was like a tiny little bit so I'll probably add this the vlog from yesterday together because I know it's been small maybe a few days worth of the small vlogs um, will equal one but I hope you guys are well and I will pick you guys back up later if anything happens but until the end bye I didn't even pick you guys up. I'm getting some lunch. I have these barbecue barbecue pork egg rolls and some french fries. I'm at a place called Sunny's Barbecue. It's very good and um, yeah, so I'm just gonna eat. I got food in my mouth. I'm just gonna eat and um, I'll pick you guys up when I leave. When you tell us, go back, please remember where you came from. And when you, when you want to relegate somebody to a specific place, just remember what your origin is in this world. Please, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I want you to understand that you, wherever you are on the earth, you are not a native anywhere you came there and took it from the native people who are there so please don't talk about going back because if others talk to you about that where would you go so guys um I got on the phone. I meant to get back on here and talk to you guys real quick. Um, so yeah, guys, I forgot. Did I tell you? I think I told you guys in the other vlog that my new little grandson is here. My little sweet little Casey is here and I got to meet him. He waited for his yaya to come. Um, the day I got, well, the day, yeah, the day I got back, he was born so yeah so i went to go see him the very next day and he's so sweet and i'm so excited to have three little grands um they call me yaya um so you'll hear me mention that um in vlogs if you're new to my channel and yeah so that is a blessing it's a blessing it's a blessing to um have your family expand and grow um and my son is so excited he's gonna be such a great dad and i'm so proud of him um but uh so let's see what else was i gonna say oh about the restaurant where i was just at like i'm sitting there waiting so i got i asked for the check so we call it check here not the bill and so i asked for the check and um a box and so she brought me the box and walked away and i'm sitting there looking side eyeing looking at the box and then realizing that i'm not in south africa no more and the people don't box your food up here and <laughs> so, so i had to like chuckle to myself like Ugh, i i i I got used to that treatment, guys. That treatment, that that's a nice treatment. Like the customer service in South Africa is top tier. What's that? Oh, I thought somebody was walking up on my car. Um, the customer service in South Africa is top tier. It is top tier. They don't do that stuff here. They do not. I, no, they don't. They'll give you your box. You box it up yourself, and they'll walk away. And then they wait for their tip. <laughs> and they hardly come back to your table. 
and they hardly come and check on you but they want an uh, extra high tip they expect it <sighs> so I need to be back in South Africa I need to be back in South Africa I miss it I miss it already and I only been home only been here five days what today's the six days and I'm ready to go back already <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I um I want to learn Zulu. So I've been on this app called Duolingo and I've been trying to do that, but I'm not really consistent. I want uh, to, to take a class, maybe like a virtual class. So if anybody knows anybody that teaches Zulu virtually, and can send me the information that would be awesome you can send it to my email that would be awesome because i really want to learn zulu and i only know sawabona sawabona am i saying it right sawabona and sanabunini sanabunini wait sanabunini sanabunani 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 Ujani um that's it <laughs> I need to know more wait Sawabona Yebo Sanabunani Sanabunani Ujani yeah that's it <laughs> That's the extent of my Zulu. Somebody teach me Zulu. <laughs> anyway, guys. That's all I wanted to say. That's all the updates. The job. The grandbaby. Just being back here. Same old grind. Same old, same old. Um... So let me get in this house and get out of these clothes, take these heels off my feet, and I will pick you guys back up another time. And my phone is ringing. I don't know who that was. They'll leave a voicemail and then I'll check it. It's always weird numbers calling me. Weird numbers scam like spam numbers oh excuse me I don't know how they get my phone number when they call and call and call well yeah guys I will pick you guys back up if I do anything special this evening I don't think I will um yeah alright guys I'm rambling rambling and rambling but Take care later. Bye. <laughs> oh, this is what I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much for the love you give me. Oh my gosh, in the comments. It's so, so sweet and heartwarming. I just enjoy, like, if I'm having, like, a blah day and not feeling like, I, if I go to my comments and check my comments, it's always so sweet. And you guys are the sweetest people. Oh, so sweet, so welcoming, so nice, so caring, so thoughtful. Oh my gosh. I just love, I just love you guys so much. And I'm so grateful that you subscribe to my channel and that you watch me and you, you enjoy um, my vlogs. Um, but the comments are so nice. Every now and then I'll get like one weird one that like makes me give a little side eye every now and then. And I realize that as my channel grows bigger, it might be more of the weird comments. Weird, I mean kind of negative. Um, but 
yeah, but with me having 99% positive, heartwarming, sweet, wonderful comments, and then the one, one percent, maybe one person, you know, negative, you know, how can I complain? I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. I am grateful that you guys enjoy my content because I was just, I mean, I'm just being me. I don't feel like I'm nothing special or spectacular, just me. And I'm glad you guys enjoy me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you more than you ever know. And I just look forward to this channel growing. And then hopefully, you know, maybe I can get monetized one day and this could be an extra income that would help me that would help me out a whole lot you know so yeah I just look forward to growth and and getting um, more subscribers so please don't forget to like comment and subscribe oh and I can see like it's a lot of people that watch me but they're not subscribing so please guys if you find it in your heart to subscribe it only takes a second and it's free i promise so just hit the little button to subscribe it'll help me it'll help me so much um it'll help my channel to grow so much because it's a lot of people that watch like 85 percent that on my thing it said 85 percent of the watchers aren't subscribed so please guys if you find it in your heart to you know watch me please subscribe it'll be so good for my channel it'll help me so much and i will be so grateful thank you thank you thank you in advance all right guys okay i'm getting off of here and going in for real i just wanted to say that that i appreciate you guys and i will pick you back up later for sure bye <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. Same face, different outfit. I'm going to go and try to do a little door dashing and see if I can make any dollars today. But look who's in the car. Hello! Oh my God. <laughs> Bye y'all. <laughs> So we're being fat getting cookies. A big old long thing of cookies. Look. And a double cup of purple 
something. <laughs> And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. <laughs> okay. So that's like Fruity Pebbles, Double Chocolate, Snickerdoodle, Purple Haze, Strawberry something, and two more Double Chocolates. What they say? Now you know. <laughs> That's cute. That's a biggie. How thick that cookie is. Oh my god, it's like a million calories. Ugh. Mm. Oh, is it good? Worth thirty dollars. Oh. You can say, hold it up, strip. Mm -hmm. Thick thighs save lives. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So. To my understanding, it's supposed to mimic like, like a trap house or a drug something, cause the, all the drinks is purple, and then they put it in a double cup, like whatever that's supposed to be, and then that's it, right? And then that's the only thing we and get the bottle. And in the bottle, they had a baby bottle. Sipping it on his sister. <sighs> what? <laughs> Sipping on his sister. But it's not, it's not no drug, nothing. It's like, they're just trying to mimic it. It's like a cute concept. It's called the cookie plug, and it's in here in Charlotte. So try it. The cookies are good. This is that um, Fruity Pebble one. It's called Bam Bam, and it's pretty good. But it's thick. I guess that's why they had that thick thighs save lives on there, because these cookies are thick and heavy. But they're good, though. Hey guys, sorry this vlog was all over the place, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for um, watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!